there's a whole technology of making um, yarns and call them yarns or threads and words interchangeable um, and really this is a technology of taking the the, the processed fibers um, and creating creating a yarn what's most familiar to us today is the idea of spinning um, and this process that we're very familiar with from the 19th century sort of home and, and industrial production of yarns, um, spinning yarns. What we think is going on at Mus Farm might be a little bit different and this is part of a bigger pattern we're starting to understand um, in prehistory across Europe. Um, very recent research a number of people including myself and my colleague Margarita Glaber are working on and this is that in prehistory, maybe the yarns were made in a slightly different way. Um, and so the so we're talking about the bast fibers, the production of yarns from plant fiber. Um, that the the fibers uh, extracted from the plant, but then rather than um, draft spinning them into a yarn. It seems that a different process is going on. And how do we understand this? We understand this by looking um, at, at low and also very high magnifications at different characteristics of the yarns. So looking at the sort of alignment of these microscopically at the fiber bundles um, to try and understand how they've been aligned, looking at different qualities of, of the yarns as they're produced, the, way, the angle of how they're spun. And what, we, um, what we're starting to understand is that, that yarns this period were likely to have been produced by a process of what we might call as, as a general term splicing rather than draft spinning. So rather than that idea of the sort of fluffy bundle of, of fibres that's, that's um, spun with the drop spindle into a yarn, it seems that that process is a little bit different and that those strips of, of fibre are maybe being twisted together in, to create what we, what, um, we refer to as a, as a single yarn, twisted together in some way without a spindle um, before they're then plied into yarns and likely that plying, which is where the two of those single yarns are twisted together. That was probably the stage where they were worked with a spindle and spindle wall. So it's a little bit complex, so maybe I should sort of break that down a little bit. In yarn technologies, there's a, two, there's a sort of fundamental thing to understand is that when you process your, your plant fibers and you've got those prepared, the first thing you'll do is prepare those into a single yarn. So you think you twist your, your fibers into a yarn. And you might do that if, if you've picked up wool in a field and twisted it together, you'll have most likely made a single yarn. If you twist that, that bit of wool quite a lot, it might double back on itself and you, and you create sort of a, a candy stripe type of, type of effect with that wool. Well, this is where you've got two of those single yarns twisted together. That's called plying. And the... Um, so that's just trying to get you to understand or trying to get across that idea of the um, fibre technologies. There's of course many variations on that. So what do we find at Must Farm? The, in terms of the yarns that are used to make the woven textiles, these are all um, plied yarns. Um, so these plied two of these single yarns being twisted together and then that's the yarn that's used for weaving in the warp and the weft. But when we look at these, um, the yarn wound on sticks, we can find both the single yarns and the plied yarns. And this is really exciting because this is just this idea of processing at the settlement that we might expect to find. That people are making the single yarns. So this example that I've talked about, this is a single yarn. Um, so it's that first stage of creating the, uh, of processing from the fiber into the yarn, the first stage of the yarn construction. Whereas this um, very evocative little find is applied yarn. So we're looking at two of those single yarns that have been made are then uh, twisted together, they're plied together. And this is just what we see at Must Farm. And one of the really 
um, one of the things I wanted to understand about this material is, yes, we find single yarns and plied yarns, and you know, in my mind, I can imagine that these were part of the same process. But but can I be sure of that? And one way to, that I have gone about investigating this is looking at the diameter of all the different um, yarns produced, and I've. Um, then looked at the distribution of all the single yarns and their the diameter of that yarn and the compared that with the diameters of the plied yarns and what i find there's a there's a range of diameters for the single yarns and these are about half of the range of the diameters for the plied yarns so this fits very nicely with the idea that two single yarns are being processed into the plied yarns that we find at the site Thank you.